Now we've got this ocarina opened up because we haven't put it back together and we hollowed out both sides in our last video. Now we're going to take this side and we're going to make the mouthpiece. All right. And so this is what you need to make the mouthpiece. You need one pointy stick that looks like this and one stick with a flat end that looks like that. It doesn't matter what the other end looks like as long as you've got one pointy one and one flat one. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to take this pointy one and like the directions say first, stick it down in this way, excuse me, in this way to make the hole, lift the hole up a little bit, then we take the pointy stick and stick it in this way. Then we need a second stick, the flat edged one, and we're going to push it in while holding this stick. We're going to push it in this way on a 45 degree angle and get all that junk out of there. What you need to have, the three things you need is the main hole here that's going to have air in it, the hole that comes and brings the air in, and this 45 degree angle that lets the air out. Okay. So if I set my cross section aside, you're going to start here by making the hole down. Here's my hole in. You can see how the popsicle stick is going in. And if I do a cross section, it should look something like this. Okay. So you can see that piece there, how my popsicle stick is going into the interior there. Okay. You want it to look like that. Then you're going to pull your popsicle stick out. Okay. Now from the front, you want the mouthpiece, here's the mouthpiece, you want this stick to go all the way in past that hole we just cut. This hole we just cut, we're going to pull it up a little bit. Okay, and here's what it looks like on the inside. We're going to take this and we're going to pull this up, kind of like that, and hollow it out. Okay, so you can kind of see that hole now there. Now we're going to stick this stick into the clay. Here's the mouthpiece. I'm going to stick it right in here. Okay. You might have to hold it a little bit so the clay doesn't smush around. But now I'm going to stick it through all the way through. And you can see in there now, so you can see the little piece of popsicle stick coming through. You can see it as I move it there. You can see the light go away as the popsicle stick slides through. And if I look at the back, this is what it looks like. If you're looking inside, this is what it looks like. The popsicle stick is coming right through like that. And you want to get all this junk out of here. Pull it out with your fingers. Like that. And that's what it should look like. Now you've got your popsicle stick through. It should be totally horizontal this way. Then you're going to take your flat popsicle stick. And while you hold the first popsicle stick here, and see I'm holding it in my hands, I'm going to take this piece and make the 45 degree angle. Excuse me, this way and you want the 45 degree angle to cut in and take a 45 degree angle as well as bump into your popsicle stick. So if I got to make it there, there you can kind of see it a little better now. Okay, you can see the 45 degree angle here. And then you want this area right here to be straight up and down. Okay, so if I pull this out, you can kind of see there's the inside. You can see the popsicle stick coming out there. And then you want to pull the popsicle stick back through. And if I kind of hold it in the light, you can see as I pull it out, you can see all that extra junk in there. What you want to do is you want to make sure that this is straight up and down. So here I'm cleaning out the inside. And as you're cleaning out the inside, you're being careful not to bump your 45 degree angle, right? Because you want that to be nice and 45 degrees. Okay. And so that should work. Now this hole is pretty big. Okay. I'm not sure it's going to work or not. But um, if you hold your popsicle stick, the pointy one in here, and you have this angle at a 45 degree angle, it should work pretty well. Now I'm going to try this and see if I can hold these two edges together. I'm just going to kind of lightly smear them together to make sure that they, you know, don't have any air coming out and see if this can work now. Beautiful. Okay. Now, once you've got this edge or this side made, let's see something. 
No, it doesn't work. Okay, you're going to have to take these two and stick them together. So what you're going to do, once you get this piece okayed by me, and you show me this piece, you're then going to stick the two pieces together. And I'll show you that in the next video.